Hi everyone, in the project we will make a word game using Spanish and English languages. When you press the next button, the first word appears. By clicking on the hint button, we begin to see the letters of the words. After typing the answer, we click on the answer button and we can see the whether the answer is wrong or correct. Let's click the next button and do another example. I start to see the letters with the hint button. I will enter an incorrect answer. When I press the answer button, it is stated that the answer is wrong. When I enter the correct answer, it was stated that the answer was correct. You can find the source course of the project in the GitHub account. For more projects like this, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. I am transferring the Tick Inter library to the project. I can create a desktop window using the transfer function. I set the window size with the geometry function. I make the window appear on the screen using the main loop function. We have created an empty window. Let's start adding objects in the project. I am creating an entry object for the user to enter their answer. I can set all the properties of the objects with the parameters sent to their function. I add the object to the desktop window using the peg function. We created the entry object. I will start adding the buttons in the project. I need the frame object before creating the buttons. I can create it with the frame function. I export it to the desktop window with the peg function. First, I create the object with the button function. I determine the name of the object and in which group it will be with the parameters sent to the function. I can adjust the physical position of the button in the window with the grid function. I added the button to the desktop window. I will create the next button. I will do the same operations as the previous button. Notice that we increase the column parameter in the grid function. We added the next button to the window. Let's create the hint button. I adjust its position with the grid function. I added all the button object to the window. I want the letters to appear on the screen when the hint button is pressed. I will create a label for it. I adjust the physical location of the label using the grid function. I add a temporary text to see the label object in the window. The label object will appear here. I am temporarily deleting the text I created. When I click the next button in the application, I want Spanish words to appear randomly on the screen. I will create a label again to ensure this. I am placing the object as a window with the peg function. I add a temporary text to the label object to appear on the screen. Spanish words will be displayed like this. 
I am deleting the temporary text I added. We need to show the on the screen whether the answer entered by the user is correct or incorrect. To achieve this, I will create another label object. I will place it in the window with the pack. I am adding a temporary text again to appear on the screen. It will look like this on the screen. I am deleting the temporary text I created. The design part of the application has been completed. Now let's create a word list. You can add as many words as you want to the list. First, let's create a variable and save their letter count of the selected word. We will use this especially in the hint button. Let's add a text function to the next button. So we will define a function that will be called when the next button is pressed. I am specifying a function name with the keyword command. I am creating the function with specified name. When the next button is clicked. The created function will be called. First, let's create our global variables. We need to reset a few objects when we click the next button. I am deleting the text of the label object using the config and delete functions. I will also delete the hint object. I sync the hint number to zero. I specify a word selected as random as global. I will transfer the random library to able to pick a random word. The first object in the list actually represents the zeroth value. Therefore, I send one less number of the members in the list to the function. We generated random number. Using the generated number in the config function, when I click the next button, I call up a random word from the list. Let's see how it works. When you click the next button, a random word comes from the list. Note that the same words can come up. Let's add a task function to the answer button. When you click on the answer button, the correct or incorrect answer entered by the user will be displayed on the screen. This function will be called every time the answer button is clicked. If the answer entered by the user in the entry object is the same as the first object of the randomly selected word, I add the text indicating that the answer is correct to the answer object.
If the answer is wrong, I use the config function to write the text indicating that the answer is wrong to the label object. Let's test the function. I will enter the correct answer. When I click the button, it was printed that the answer was correct. Finally, let's enter a wrong answer. If an incorrect answer was entered, the text indicating this was printed on the screen. The answer function is working as planned. Finally, let's complete the hint button. I will synchronize the hint to variable with an empty text. I sync the hint number to zero. I am specifying a function name in the hint button function. I am using global keyword to able to use hint number variable and text in the function. If the number of the hint is less than number of letters of the randomly chosen word, I add the zero member of the randomly stated word to the hinter string object. I am changing the text of the hint label object with the config function. When I click the button again, I increase the count variable by 1 so that the next word comes up. Notice that all variables are reset when you click the next button. Let's test the app. When you click the next button, the first word randomly appears. I sent the letters to the screen in order with the hint button. I will enter the correct answer and click the answer button. It was shown on the screen that the answer was correct. Let's do another example. When a wrong answer was entered, it was shown on the screen that the answer was wrong. The application works as planned. You can develop the application. For example, Add a point system to the app. You can then share the project with me. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can specify them in the comments. You can follow the YouTube channel for more projects like this.